In March of 2019, a shocking crime rocked the quiet suburb of Gladwin. A man named Petros Pomborukani, a former health official, shot and killed his wife Olivia Zenda and her brother Robert Zenda in cold blood in front of their three young children. Petros was 50 and his wife was 42 and they had been married for 20 years with four children aged 19, 12, 10 and 8. He was in the habit of assaulting his wife and had recently moved out of their matrimonial home. Petros was no stranger to violence and controversy. He had previously kidnapped and tortured gospel singer Matthias Mere, whom he had accused of having an affair with his wife. He forced Mere and his wife to strip naked at gunpoint and held them hostage for five hours. Petros was then arrested and appeared before a Harare magistrate who convicted him and fined him 150 US dollars. Petros also had two other cases of physical abuse and one of attempted murder against his wife at the Highlands police station. They had a history of marital problems and his wife also worked for the health ministry. He often moved in and out of their matrimonial home but never divorced her. He suspected her of having multiple affairs with other men, yet it was him that was always having affairs with women. He traveled to South Africa where he obtained a pistol with the intention of killing his wife. He then returned to Zimbabwe and waited for the right moment to strike. On the morning of March 30, he sneaked into his house where his wife was having breakfast with their kids, his mother-in-law and her brother. Tea cups, a teapot, sugar basin and plates were on the coffee table as the small family sat around, happily sharing their first meal of the day. Typical of movie-style hitmen, Petros, without uttering a single word, set his eyes on his targets and immediately opened fire on Olivia and Robert, killing them instantly. The two victims sustained fatal wounds to their heads and their lifeless bodies lay next to huge pools of blood. He then escaped, leaving behind his two loaded magazines. The horror scene quickly unfolded in front of Petros and Olivia's three young children, aged 12, 10 and 8 who watched their mother and uncle bleed to death. Olivia's mother and a relative who also watched the murder in fear as their domestic worker hid behind furniture. They all escaped without injuries. And the firstborn child, age 19, was away in boarding school. The police launched a manhunt for Petros, who was considered armed and dangerous. They also discovered that he was using a South African and a UK phone number to threaten more people whom he believed had slept with his wife. He vowed to kill them all one by one. Sometime the previous year, he severely assaulted his wife following a misunderstanding, and his wife had to be admitted at a local hospital due to the injuries she sustained. The police also found reports that he was wanted by the SAPS, the South African Police Services, for two counts of rape which occurred in the neighboring country in separate incidents. The brutal crime shocked the nation and raised questions about the state of domestic violence, gun control and mental health in Zimbabwe. The family of the victims were left devastated and traumatized, especially the children who witnessed their father take the life of their mother. The police are still appealing to the public for any information that could lead to his arrest as he remains at large. This is a crime of passion, of jealousy and rage. It exposes the dark side of a troubled man and the tragic consequences of his actions. May the souls of the deceased rest in eternal peace.